Hey everyone, everyone. welcome, welcome back, back to you. Five and Eats, and we are continuing on with a brand that we've been trying a lot of their products from. This is the Sprecher Puma Cola Craft Soda, and this has a really funny packaging. I feel like the Puma looks a little bit like it might be rabid. Um, yeah, or scared. <laughs> or scared, perhaps. Now, interesting thing is this does not have any caffeine in it, which typically a cola has caffeine, even if it's just like 35 grams or whatever. So that's kind of intriguing. Now the Puma on this cover does seem to be kind of situated in front of perhaps a cola nut tree. And it seems to have little cola nuts by its little paw, but also some cinnamon sticks. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not too excited about that. I also see it says over here, honey. Yes, it does have raw Wisconsin honey. That, I remember last time we tried something with the honey mm -hmm. and it was really a turn off. Yes. Now, the thing about this company is their bottles are heavy. Yes. Like if you get into a bar fight, this thing's gonna do some damage. Mm -hmm. You're gonna hurt somebody, man. Yes. So, you know, maybe that's what uh, their intention <laughs> is, right? Perhaps. So you drink some of this, you got the courage of a puma, bam. The courage of a puma, I like that. Yeah. And guys, <laughs> if you're new to our channel, basically, we review everyday grocery items, so before you spend your harder money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Whoa. Now, we picked this up at Menards, of all places. So if you guys don't have a Menards by you, it's a gigantic Home Depot. It's like a hardware store, right? Mm -hmm. It's just huge. It's probably bigger than Home Depot, and they're a chain. They're back in the late 90s, early 2000s. They used to have a really goofy commercial, and I always wondered, are they trying to be funny or do they really think this is serious? Because <laughs> they had a guy dressed up as like a Mr. Menard or something. Uh -huh. And he was just like uh, talking about the latest products and it was super hokey. I think that they lean into that a lot. They have a lot of weird products yeah, there. Because they also play the banjo oh, in their God. commercials. <laughs> yeah. You gotta love a company that will do that. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back. Our rating system. Thumbs up right again, thumbs down, we've been at. So for me, this is a thumbs down. Now for the cinnamon, now for the honey. I actually think it's a pretty good cola. I like the sugar level in this because it's not too sweet, but there's a problem. So when you drink it, you notice the carbonation, but as you keep drinking it, as it's going down, there's no carbonation. Hmm. It's really, really weird because, you know, it's a freaking cola, right? Like you're expecting carbonation. I don't know what's going on here. Thumbs down. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Alrighty, for me, this one is going to be a thumbs up. I like this one. I will agree with you though. I think that the carbonation seems to like depart quite quickly, which is weird. I mean, like there's still some there, but it seems to like just evaporate as soon as it's like going across your tongue. It's a little strange. This is very cold. We're having it very, very cold from the fridge. But I think overall, aside from that, this tastes really good. It tastes possibly as close to Coca-Cola as we've had in some of these other like non-Coke colas because it has that same like very intense full bodied flavor. It doesn't taste watered down at all. I think the sweetness level is good. I don't really pick up on the cinnamon, so maybe it's just there to like be a prop for the Puma. I agree, I don't notice the cinnamon. I do notice the honey. Yes, I noticed the honey. I don't think that it was bad though, because I think that the other Sprecher one that we tried recently that had the honey in it did not work out well for us. But this one I feel like worked in there. I could do without it at the same time, but I think that it wasn't bad. Also, I wanna say, it says raw Wisconsin honey. Uh -huh. What's so special about Wisconsin honey, right? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. It's a- Do they even know? <laughs> yeah, it's a neighboring state. We've been there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's anything special about the land that makes the honey taste better, but they put that on there. Maybe they're just really friendly bees or something. Yeah. But I think overall, this is pretty good. It's not as carbonated as a Coke, but I'd still be willing to like have it every once in a while because I don't always have like non zero sugar sodas, 
But this one is worth having again if you're gonna have like a, a full calorie soda. To sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.